Please! <laughs> what the hell? It doesn't look good, huh? How did this happen? Those things attacked us. The last one got to me. I blew its face off. And now I'm stuck here. By the way, can you spare a bullet? You want to kill yourself? I'm not stupid. I know I'm not getting out of this. At least... Let me end it. Before another one of those things shows up. Or kill me. At least you're a human. Here. Are you sure? I'm sure. Now, if you don't mind, leave me alone. the job, you bastard! What the hell happened here? Uh, use your eyes, genius! Uh, that goddamn creature from hell got the drop on us! Here. This should get you back on your feet. Thank you. Uh, I won't forget this. right there. You're on Prippy and Bradford turf now. Uh, so, uh, anything interesting going on around here lately? Well, there's something fishy happening in the power plant. Those NAR fuckers, and there's this creepy fuck with... He leaves me alone. So you do have... What did I just... You mentioned something about trade. What kind of things do you have? What about this, uh, box of loot? That'll be one food ration. Sure thing. There you go. It's just for you. I better be going now. Bradfo forever, Igor!
This is the same music box I gave to Chana for her birthday. What's this? There's something clipped to the inside. Is this a bug? So, Tatiana was under KGB surveillance. Why? What did they want with her? Why did you come here? Recognize it? You wanted to talk. Let's talk. Not with me. The old fellow wanted you to see this first. You're running out of time. How did you get it? Not here. Meet me in the building next door in a couple of minutes. This just keeps getting better and better. What took you so long? Did the tiny dancer get your attention? <laughs> Old man said it would. He's gotta test you before he decides if he likes you. Every fucking thing is a test with that crumbling fruitcake. But at least he pays well. Are you going to explain to me what this is all about? Captain Spastic said you'd recognize a big fucking radar assembly and that it means something to you. Then he mumbled something about the Rat King and the end of the world, but I don't think he was serious about that part. I came here to talk to the old man, not his errand boy. I'm going back. The fuck you say? You're a lucky son of a bitch, I'd mess you up. But then I wouldn't get paid. Now shut your fucking face and pay attention when your betters are talking. You got a choice to make. It's easy. You can either use the detonator to blow this metal monstrosity to kingdom come, or you can use the other thingy to upgrade your PDA. That will improve the functionality of every scanner in the network. Why do I have to choose? Don't know. I don't care. I did my fucking job. Now you do yours. And who the hell are you supposed to be? I'm a man on a job, that's all. Yeah? That's all you need to know, friendo. Last piece of advice. This guy is crazy loco, sure. But there's always some kind of reason behind what he's doing. So, ask yourself, why would he want you to make this choice?
So, what does it do? Are you hungry, Igor? Not at the moment, thanks. Are you making something? <laughs> Just kidding. The meat I've stashed away, I would never share it with you. Hell, this meat I wouldn't feed to my worst enemy. Or maybe only to my worst enemy. <laughs> what are you on about, Mikhail? I've spent a lot of time in the zone, too much time, doing various kinds of deals. Along the way, I learned about what happened in our beloved motherland after the big fucking reactor exploded. Okay, let's hear it. After your dumbass scientist caused the explosion and irradiated us in half of Europe, someone told the party apparatchiks they needed to slaughter all the livestock in the area. We're talking 50,000 sheep and cattle. Of course. It was regrettable, but a reasonable thing to do, Mikhail. <laughs> right, right. But we wouldn't be Slavs if it wasn't for our fucking ingenuity and business acumen, huh? We always find a way. Hell, not even a hundred years of communism could uproot our inbred knack for wheeling and dealing. Anyway, some genius decided it would be a waste to just throw all that meat in an incinerator. The animals were slaughtered, all right, but not destroyed. Instead, their glow-in-the-dark meat was mixed in with the flesh of healthy animals. And shipped to Moscow. Cool, huh? This sounds like the exact opposite of cool, Mikhail. The glowing sausages left the party officials scared shitless. Their solution was to immediately ship it somewhere else. Georgia, Ukraine, Kazakhstan. But the truth was already out. And nobody wanted this generous gift. So, there was this freaking ghost train rolling through Ukraine and Belarus, from one station to another, filled with radioactive meat that no one dared touch. This toxic meat train cruised the Soviet Empire for three years. Three fucking years! Before the cooling system broke down. At that point, the KGB stepped in and eventually buried the cargo. But I managed to snag a piece for myself, and I'm keeping it. It could be very valuable one day. Valuable? How? Uh, not sure yet. It could have sentimental value. Or maybe I could use it to blackmail someone. You're insane. Please keep your radioactive meat away from our kitchen. Mikhail, you've been- Perhaps of gathering and- Actually... Answer the radio, mousy, mousy mouse. You know that I know you're there. You cannot hide from me, little mouse. The Rat King is almost upon us. And despite your history with Zogareda, you decided to help him. I am disappointed. Right, whatever. Oh, great and powerful rat catcher. Let us meet in person, Mousy. For real this time. Pripyat Port, look for a red sign painted on a wall. This symbol will protect us from the Rat King. I hope you're not wasting my time. Red sign, Pripyat Port. Goodbye.
What's our next move, boss? Khan is a curious figure, wouldn't you agree? Very Shakespearean with all his mice and rats. Fascinating people can also be very dangerous, my love. Watch your step and don't fall into a trap, mousy. Boris was an informant for the KGB. That bastard was my friend. If I could get my hands on him.
Mousy, hey, over here! Enough jerking me around. What do you know about Tachana? Check your tongue, little one. Part of me still worries you could be a secret servant of the Rat King after that stunt you pulled. Who is this Rat King? A smart question. One that I've been trying to answer myself for years. The Rat King will usher in the end of days. He and his army of rodents. They're a plague of biblical proportions. The end of all. Oh, I don't have time for this. Please get to the point, if there is one. You will make time once you see the truth. But never mind that for now. You have questions? Ask. I'm looking for my fiance. Her name is Tatiana Amelieva. The last time I saw her was here, in Pripyat, just before the Chernobyl incident. A long time, isn't it? What are you hoping to find, exactly? I'm not sure, but... But she constantly haunts your dreams. Oh, I suspected as much. See here, I have gathered many documents, reams of them. Look through them, educate yourself. Quiet, Mousy. They're here. Oh, shit! Rat King got the better of us this time. Ah, they mustn't get their filthy paws on my archives. Oh, you never expected the second test to come so fast, eh? This hoary mousy. You think you're playing a game, little ratling? You think anyone can stroll into the zone and do what he pleases? The Rat King approaches, and you are a tool of his incoming reign of terror, whether you realize it or not. Here comes NAR to join the Rat Party. I think I shall leave you all to burn together, a heap of flaming, squirming rodents. I wish you had chosen differently, Igor.
Stop right there! You're on Pripyat Broad for turf now! You mentioned something about trade. What kind of things do you have? What about this, uh, box of loot? That'll be one food ration. Sure thing. There you go. It's just for you. I better be going now. Bradford forever, Igor! Igor. Hey, what's up? I was thinking about secrets. Any particular secrets? Did you know the medical data gathered after the atomic strike on Japan was classified? Whoa, nothing like a ray of sunshine to start your day. Seriously, though, it's not that surprising. This American diplomat I met once told me about it. He said the U.S. Army was shocked at how deadly the fallout was. They put more than $20 billion into the Manhattan Project, after all. After their amazing victory, they couldn't admit to the public how toxic it was. Even the American troops helping the Japanese rebuild were getting sick. So they confiscated all the medical data, Japanese and American, and classified it. That's regrettable. The biggest crime the nuclear powers have committed against their citizens was failing to admit that long-term exposure to even low levels of radiation can be more deadly than a high dose received in a short amount of time. Yeah. That kind of secret kills people. Hey there, boss man! Got a minute? Sure. What is it? I need to ask you something, Igor. And you have to be absolutely fucking straight with me. Whoa, Mikhail. Should I be scared? No, but I need you to really take me seriously. I sometimes get the feeling that you don't. What are your plans with NAR and Kozlov? I don't know yet. Why? Because I've got a feeling that you'd be willing to parlay with them, even come to some kind of agreement. And I want to make sure you understand that I won't fucking allow it. Is that so? 
What would you have me do, Mikhail? Annihilate the motherfuckers! That's what I'd have you do! Hang Kozlov from the highest branch of the tallest tree in Pripyat! Look, I came here to find Tatyana. That's what matters to me. Right, right. That's what matters to you. And what about me? There's a lot of anger in you, Mikhail. I get it, but... But what? But your motherfucking pain is better than mine? You pose as a cool and level-headed guy, but sometimes you act like an egocentric prick. What do you want from me, Mikhail? Tatiana is your goal, not mine. I will have my closure, and I'll have my revenge. You have no problem using me for your mission whenever it suits you. There may come a time when I use you for mine. Please, just try and cool off. Don't do anything rash. No promises, Professor. No fucking promises. Tanya, and wait, is that Boris? Beautiful, isn't it? Igor gave it to me for my birthday. <laughs> He's such a cute dork. It's from Leningrad. He's so sweet. A tiny dancer? That's all he sees you as, huh? He doesn't really understand you like I do. If you'd only give us a chance, Tanya. Make me go through this again. Don't destroy our friendship. You don't need to worry about that. I will always be your best friend, but I can't forget that evening when we were at the Silver Lake in Gachina, and you said... We had our moment, but it's in the past now. Please, just don't. That's what you really want. But you're making a mistake, Tanya. Igor is too buried in his books to see the real you. He only sees the perfect little Slavic woman. Fragile, supportive, and obedient. You're not yourself around him, Tanya. Afraid of overshadowing his accomplishments. Scared of driving him away. With me... You would never have to pretend. Never have to be someone you're not. I've never been more myself than when I'm with Igor. Don't try to get into my head, Boris. I've made my choice. You need to accept that. I'm really sorry if I hurt you. I regret that. Let's just... let's just finish our tea. I need to be back home by five. What? I remember the music box. It was from Leningrad. But Boris? Was he making a pass at Tanya? I trusted that son of a bitch. I think we're all set. That was a great idea with the music box, Conrad Major. Boris was talking to the KGB? I should have seen it. He was always so overly ambitious. Yes, I'm positive. She's about to blow the lid off the whole thing. And with her affiliations, there's no telling how long it'll be before the Western press gets wind of the Duga project.
So I recommend that you move fast, Comrade Major. We need to make sure that our work continues without distraction. She's a dangerous dissident and needs to be put away. As for Kiminyuk, we need him so our work can continue. He's not involved in Amalieva's machinations. He's quite naive. He's what Comrade Lenin would call a useful idiot. Except he also happens to be a brilliant scientist, of course. Thank you, Boris. It's good to know that you always had my back, and that you were involved in the plot to kidnap Tatiana. Tanya? What? What do you want? Tatiana Amnieva, please, come with us quietly. It's better if you don't make a scene, for your own sake. What's all this about? Who, who are you? The better question is, who are you, Tatiana Femina Amnieva? Your father would be ashamed of you. Or does he know that you're plotting to betray your own motherland? Perhaps he's in on it too. What? I have no idea what you're talking about. We'll see about that. We're gonna have a nice, long chat, Amalieva. As it is, we've got a mutual friend, Amalieva. Boris told us all about you. He would never! The party has done so much for you, and this is how you repay us! You've got your head filled with this Western nonsense. Yes, yes. We've seen your contraband. This garbage. It makes me sick. You're not happy being a proper Soviet woman, eh? You've grown tired of pretending? Well, the game is over. Time to show your true face. You're a reactionist and a provocateur. Ready to sell your country's secrets to the CIA. I have no idea what you're talking about. Please, let me go. What would your fiancé Igor have to say about this, hmm? He's such a good comrade. When he hears of this, he will despise you. If you continue to resist, we'll pay a visit to your family in Murmansk. Don't make us do that. The drive always puts me in a foul mood. Please, no, don't. I'll come willingly. Good girl. Ah, what are you doing? Get away from me! Don't touch me! Leave me alone! God, please, I can't take it anymore. Lord, have mercy. Kill me, please. Kill me. I can't believe this is real. Boris was jealous of me and Tanya? And when she turned him down, he got back at her by informing on her to the KGB. That goddamn rat. I trusted him. Good. God. I knew she hated this system, but exposing state secrets to the Western press? Can that even be true? I could be. I don't know what to believe anymore. <laughs> <laughs> 